Let's talk about the one that started it all. Since this game is one of the most popular and successful games of all time, it has been extremely well covered and several effects here have become common knowledge to the point where it feels cliche to talk about them. However, for the sake of comprehensiveness, I'll go over them. In 1977, Iwatani-san joined Namco with the hopes of being able to make pinball machines, a hobby he quite enjoyed. However, due to patent complications and Namco's shift towards the electronic arcades as a result of the success of their recent distribution of Atari games, he was denied the opportunity to design pinball machines. From that point on, he had assumed the position of a game designer and he had worked on Namco's first video game, GB, a breakout clone with pinball elements. It wasn't a successful game, but it was valuable for both Iwatani and Namco for giving them a base to build upon in Japan's video game industry. GB received two sequels in 1979, Bombi and Cutie Q. Although Iwatani didn't work on the gameplay for Cutie Q, he developed the character sprites which experimented with a cute aesthetic to give the characters more personality. It was at this time in 1979 that Iwatani was feeling deflated that the game industry targeted the male demographic with shooter, combat, and sports games. These games generally weren't visually appealing and didn't connect with players on a personal level. It led to stereotypes of arcades being full of men, darkly lit, and somewhat unclean. He believed that by making a game that could appeal to women, he would be able to make the arcades more family-friendly in atmosphere and give a pastime for couples to enjoy together. Iwatani was assigned a nine-man team that included composer Toshio Kai, designer and GB staff member Shigechi Ishimura, and programmer Shigeo Funaki to develop a uplifting and addicting game with an emphasis being placed on cute and relatable characters and gameplay that was easy to learn. 